Welcome, sports fans, to the Drop Mix Broadcasting Association's presentation of the Drop Mix League here at Harmonix Studios in the basement of the, the Fidelity Ex Financial Exchange Building in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I am uh, your host, Troy, joined by my co-commentators and DBA associates, Riley Davis. You can, no? Okay. Uh, and Nick Mudry. What's up? There you go. Uh, we're, we're bringing you the two very exciting matches today. First up are the uh, underweight champions, challengers, undercard cha undercard challengers is the word I was looking for. Let's go with that. Uh, let's go to that. Let's shoot over to them. They are da -da 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 two. Kevin Lockard and Matt Ivester. Say hello, gentlemen. Hey there, YouTube's. Hi. Uh, you gentlemen are the uh, two different two different rungs of our ladder competition currently. I believe it's. Yeah, Kevin yeah, Kevin's is in, in second, and I'm in fourth, so we're, we're jockeying to move up. I'm, I'm jockeying to move up the ladder. Matt Ivester, of course, uh, trying to take out Kevin Lockard into his uh, tier two position on the ladder. Our, our title match tonight, Tom Bartlett versus Kevin Kavanaugh, uh, will take place immediately after this. That is for the top spot. Are we on Twitch? So we are streaming on Twitch. We right? should be live. Maybe. We can't tell uh, because Twitch seems to be down. All right, gentlemen, if you could weigh in your decks, please, let's get started. Cut over to keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, can you drop one? Twitch status looks fine. Okay. Twitch website, unfortunately, not looking great. Uh, you're probably just not. Oh, now we're up. Yep, we're good. Cool. Wonderful. Yeah, people say they can see us. All right. Well, just my, just me then. It was just me. Huh. Uh. Welcome, uh, everyone, uh, uh, from us on our side. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing pretty good. All of them. Yeah, I feel good. I feel like a, a mix of Flock of Seagulls and Leslie Nope over here. But uh, You do, uh, I must say, look amazing in that uh, shoulder pad blazer combo. Straight from my closet. Straight from, of course. Ives are weighing in his deck. Now, We uh, there is an option in this league to kind of ban certain t expansions based on availability so mm -hmm. uh as folks uh, in-house are trying to get a hold of series three and four or lucky uh on their own uh certain bans can take place now ivester has chosen to ban discover series three and four from competition however uh not lucky uh speaking to kevin earlier he has had to change up a little bit of his deck composition uh to account for the drop of three and four but he is still feeling confident uh, going into this that he has uh, tournament ready deck. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> Supposed to just roll with these things, Kevin. And not, not, just don't listen to us. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're in your soundproof booth. We are in a very sound soundproof. soundproof booth. Is that 78 out of 80? Is that correct? No, it's not reading one of the cards. Uh oh. 31, 31. There, there you go. go. 31. All right, both decks are of legal weight. My sight went down again. Oh, I can still see Twitch chat on my phone. All right, thank you. You have Twitch chat available. Uh, we are streaming, of course, to Twitch and Facebook Live today. And there is Lucky. There is Lucky versus Mirrors. Taking Mirrors as we get started in round one. Lucky versus Mirrors. Perfect. Cool. All right, let's see where things go. Kevin Lockard playing Lucky on the left. Ivester on Mears on the right. Lucky getting first draw. I played against Kevin once in this tournament. I have as well. He's Did not been, go well. He's been watching a lot of the tournaments. He has. So he's been absorbing. Yeah, he seems to sit in on almost every match that goes on. Yeah. Definitely has a uh, good sense for his competition. Coming in a uh, wild card right off the bat, too. Wild card off the bat, blocking that blue and green wild slot. Leaving only the red color bonus open as it shifts to Ivester. Ivester does capitalize on the red color bonus. He does with the red sampler. You haven't seen a ton of sampler play going on this turn. Maybe today's the, today's the day. Today's the day. Or not. We don't know. We don't know. I'm really digging this mix. <laughs> It is uh, very good. Uh, 
I have to compliment you, Nick, on your uh, no scoping of the board placement here. Did you have the guide open? The no. Nice. Very good work. Just winged it. Absolutely winged it, and it's amazing. Yes, here we go, some Earth, Wind, and Fire. Kevin dropping Embrace Chaos, taking advantage of that green color bonus, or that green bonus, green card, rather. Excuse me, I am getting a note. It is a cert order, not embrace chaos. Both, both the effects cards on the controller deck. A very similar art. Hard to we do have a uh, professional drop mix referee standing by observing this match, Dan Walsh. We, we do. Is that better? That seems a little better. Yeah. I yeah. wasn't sure if I was coming in a little low. Lieutenant Hummus has all the weigh-ins for his own personal stat tracking purposes. Fantastic. Ivester saying no can do by dropping that, that wild in the center slot. Seven to five as Kevin takes a six board control here. I'm really thinking this play through. First a few uh, actions were back and forth pretty pretty fast. Yeah, rapid fire. Kevin not channeling uh, his inner Danny Margolis with that spin. Beatboxer coming in here, opening up the green color bonus. However, he is blocking it with a level three. Unless, unless Matt has a, a level three green, he won't be able to capitalize on that bonus. He is able to clear it with that spin. Genuine Pony getting some play here. I've seen a lot of wild cards already. We have. Fourth one. I think so. Uh, spin from yes, it, yeah, that Kevin. is actually the fourth one. Two on either side here. Ooh, those twos Ooh, are devastating. Solid hit. Spin. Devastating spin. Opens up quite a bit. Let's see how uh, Kevin can capitalize on all these color bonuses that are open. Opting to take the blue color bonus. Still leaving a lot open for Matt. Dude, that is the disadvantage of the spin, I would say. It was uh, a he, smart move, though. It was, it was a smart move. now Ivester can't use wild card. That is true. Oh, that is a very good point. Yeah, he does uh, he does block out the wild taking both, uh, both bonuses. Very good point. All right, co-commentator back there, Riley's fanning her face. Quite got me sweating already. It is quite. <laughs> competition has got all the sweating. I think it's the soundproof booth we got over here. It it's is uh, locking the heat in like a greenhouse. It's that or the shoulder pads. <laughs> a little bit of, of everything. Or just put them both up. Yeah, let's uh, move. I, I didn't want more of you. Well, we don't know who's who, so we'll put one of them down and we'll talk. Uh, uh, nope, oh, that's that's, not that's you. definitely Riley. Oh, Riley, oh, all right, all right. Not all the way in. Oh, there we go. Down a little bit more for you. There you go. Nick, uh, I unfortunately can't. Down all, the way. <laughs> all the way. All the way. All the way. All, all right. I unfortunately can't reach the audio board, so I have to spit out my uh, instructions to Nick. I have tiny arms and this very wide. I have long arms. Clear your mind coming out here by Ivester. Taking the blue out of the mix. Which he capitalized on with LMFAO. Sexy and I know it. That play. Pretty much. Never mind. Alright. <laughs> I was just gonna make a sexy and I know it joke. 
<laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah. It is a tough, tough subject. Very good card. Big fan. Big yeah. Huge fan. Childish Gambino coming into the mix. Fourteen to twelve, still a very close match. Question from the chat: Does everyone in Harmonix want a cert order? Uh, it is definitely a popular card in our meta. Ooh, Ooh that one miss on that spin. That is going to hurt Ivester. He is not able to make that second play. Really contemplating his uh, second action. Then steal my sunshine. Ooh, stealing not only his sunshine, but his yellow slot bonus. Or yellow slot control, rather. Kevin going for another spin. Like that three is coming out. Just as quickly as it came, Len is bumped out of the mix. Opening up the yellow color, color bonus again. Can Kevin capitalize on that? And he can. Taking a smooth lead at 16 and 12 with Weezer, king of the world. That vocal slot. One of the few vocal level one vocal, vocal. Yeah, they are not common. And Weezer, I think, can take me out. That could be only two. Guaranteed hit on the spin, knocking out two. Opening up the red bonus. Making this a pretty even game. He is not far behind. He has a lot of opportunity to make up the points. He and does and he does red. right here, 14 to 14, coming out of, out of his turn. Not a lot of massive plays on either side of the board this round. No, very back and forth. Very yeah, back keep and forth. Keep closing the gap. They do. Searching within comes out. Wonder what Kevin is uh, looking for. Half my guesses. He's actually deferring the search until the end of his turn. He already had the play ready to go. I'm gonna take a spin through his deck here, and oh, he already already pulled it. Looks like he was on the very bottom. I think he uh, used that searching with him. Some very good mixes in this first match. And for, we're seeing a lot of good mixes coming out of uh, coming out of some of the actually really out of the discover packs. More. Every no, nope, everything here is cool. no high tower. Yep. He got it. And he cleared that one. green. Level three is always tough to play over. However, easy to clear out. 50-50 chance on that wheel. A little more than 50-50, actually. Ooh, busting move comes out. Making it even again. Eyes it up. There's Embrace Chaos, Troy. There's Embrace Chaos. Definitely not a certain order. <laughs> that one is definitely not a certain order. 
uh, taking the two points away from Ivester. And Ooh, the full mix. First full mix this, uh, this round. Puts him within very close striking distance, 19 to 14. Ivester has to make a play here to stop Kevin. This is going to be a short game one. It's tough. He only has twos and ones on the board. Guaranteed hit on the spinner, though. Oh, no, oh. I'm wrong about that. Oh, but those twos are going to pull three cards and three points off of the board and open a ton of slots up. I guess you can make a big swing back here if you got the cards to capitalize on it. So really hoping he had that blue green wild. That nice. If he does uh, tie it back up. Kevin taking a hard look at his hand. That it? Dominant coming yeah. out in the effects clot. Three three points, four. That is it, I think. I think that, that does it. 19, 20, 21. 21 to 16. Pulled, pulled yeah. out. Where are all oh. my effects cards? Oh, look at all those good cards. What an absolutely oh, fantastic match. They're so good. Kevin yeah, taking match the one. Cards that could have gotten me some points and let me use those things in my hand. All right. A very exciting, very back and forth match. Try both again. Both of you. Uh, any thoughts coming out of... Uh, and coming out of that first match, Kevin, with the win, uh, does, does your adjusted deck strategy, uh, is that helping or hurting you uh, make the plays that you're expected to make or are used to making? Are you talking to me? I am talking to you, yes. <laughs> okay, it's loud over here. What? <laughs> Has your deck changes uh, had any impact on the strategy that you went into this match with? No, because I didn't draw any of those cards. Oh, fantastic. All the cards I put in were really good. And I drew nothing but one music cards. And Matt, obviously uh, a tough, tough loss in the first round. You do have <laughs> another round and two, potentially two rounds to make up for it and come back with a win. Any strategy changes, any deck changes going into uh, the second match? I'm not going to be making any deck changes. Uh, I think, yeah, I was just, I didn't draw a lot of effects cards, so I got stuck with a lot of cards in my hand that I couldn't play, which was unfortunate. Always unfortunate. Uh, bring one down, two up. And I'll cut over to the commentary booth here as we uh, take let them let them shuffle and get ready for their second game. Uh, a very exciting first. Very match. exciting. Very it's close really match. Back and forth. Incredibly back and forth. I don't think we saw like I said it, until the end. We didn't see a lot of t a lot of huge plays coming out of either side of the board. Um, it's very back and forth. Very back and forth. I wonder if that has to do anything with with removing some of the series three and four effects cards there are some powerful cards in uh series three and four what so, did we uh, lose what fx cards a lot we, we, we lost wilden clearing all the color cards off the board we lost that which is a huge can be a huge momentum mm -hmm. swing uh, especially with quiet wisdom now interesting to know quiet wisdom is a legal an, play here that's right it's unlucky but the the, 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 com the combination there really uh the, the, the combo setup there is, is is important but uh yeah we'll definitely see what they have to do in, in round two uh let's switch back over to them as we get into match two this is a best of three, best of three matches, yep. uh, or I guess round, best of three rounds, I should say, uh, in one match. All right. Yeah. Just saw it, just saw it. No, yeah, it's actually it's fine. Yeah. There's just nothing. <laughs> Quiet wisdom. There it is, coming there out of the first play of the game. I mean, you gotta hope that you get that on the first hand. It is. An absolute must. If you don't have quiet wisdom, you better searching, have searching within. Better have searching within in there too. An immediate five-point play from Quiet Wisdom alone. 6-0 off the bat. Yeah, you can't ask for, for a better first turn. You can't ask for a better first turn. Ivester already starting on the back foot here. Just a note to those watching, if uh, Kevin does take this match, we will move on to another match. We'll have a... Uh, Tom Bartlett, you saw him last week, and we'll also have uh, Kevin Kavanaugh play off against him for the current title for Drop Mix. Kevin is just currently defending his slot on the ladder as well, so mm -hmm. I would love to see uh, Ivester, who I don't think is, is obviously not, has not cracked the... Uh, the, the second tier. Actually, I don't know that really anybody has cracked into this. Definitely tier. not us. Definitely not us. We nope. are all <laughs> for sure very us. far down the ladder. There may be another reason why Dan is down here waiting 
the results of some matches. We can't hear a word you're saying with these headphones on. Nope. We all have, these are all very loud headphones. Can't. Sorry. Don't understand a word he just said. Uh, what I do understand is Ivester still still trailing here, eleven to seven. That I will survive base is very distinct in this. Love it. Especially when it's all from effects cards. It's not points on the board that you can take away. It's, mm -hmm. it's locked in points. You can, if you can clear cards, subtract points. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, all you can do right now is chip away backwards at, at uh, Kevin's score. He's making it happen. Look at that. He is. He's closing that gap 12 to 10. And he, has, he does control four slots in the mix, too. He's Depending on how Kevin plays this hand, he, he's set up to potentially get a full mix. It is unfortunate hearing Cherry George will get bumped out though. Another personal favorite on the red. If you are just tuning in, this is the first match of uh, our two match series, undercard match between Kevin Lockard on the left here and Matt Ivester on the right. Uh, so this is game two. Kevin Lockard took the first one. I believe it was 21 16. Mm -hmm. Ivester has to come back here in this round to, to stay alive. Otherwise, Kevin retains his tier two position on the ladder. Again with that stealing the sunshine, stealing my sunshine rather. Kevin's uh, really just hiding his face behind his cards. Is that embarrassment or shame? No, nope. who can really tell? Uh, any reason why no one in the office has created a bracket graphic? Uh, no. <laughs> We're working on it. Yep. Uh, we will have more more, uh, more fancy graphics as the uh, as this week goes on. I think on all on all fronts. Definitely as the week goes on. Yeah. As, as, yes. But we don't want fancy graphics to get in the way of uh, us broadcasting drop mix to it's, it's everyone. Pure competition level drop mix play. Silently not nodding our heads back here, which uh, unfortunately you can't see. Yeah, uh, well you can. Oh right wait, now. there you go. Um. <laughs> Ooh, a spin knocking off one card. It'll be fine. Yeah, you will only be. 16 to 11. I've got some track play duplicate card on board. I didn't catch what it was, but... Uh, Must have been Pony, probably, I would imagine. I know he has it in his, in his deck. Uh, Acrimony again, another duplicate card. Unfortunately, getting blocked one card on the board at a time. It's a great card, though. You can clear up to three cards. Yep. Four, depending if you play it over your an opponent's card in a blue or green space. You won't take away a point for that, but... Uh, right, right. Triumphant coming in, taking uh, two points for blue and red, which Ooh. Kevin has with the wild and the vocals card. That might have done it. 21-12. Lucky wins. 
Lucky wins. If Kevin Locker defends his level two spot on the board, I've after shaking his head. Let's get in. Let's get some. Uh, not that far. Yeah, there you go. Let's get some uh, questions in from the game here, gentlemen. That was a a tough tough match. Uh, That's Kevin, one way to describe it. I guess. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. Kevin, you came in very early. What was going through your head when you saw that quiet wisdom and that draw? I mean. That's an exciting thing to see when you draw your first five cards. It is a yeah, very that's exciting. A, that's a hard it, hole to dig out of. It, it seems like a requirement now to have yeah, that I'm, and uh, searching within in your deck to try to get that in the first play. Yeah, we've been there's been some internal discussion about strategies with those new cards opening up, and that's that is definitely one that I don't know feels a little a little too strong well, to me. It leaves but, the board very wide open yeah. for the second turn. But I was true. able to mitigate that by having You had a wild offense. as well, which is the perfect, you had the perfect draw on that, yeah, on that second better. game for sure. Uh, and Ivester, any thoughts, any, any changes to your strategy perhaps coming out of this match as you look to challenge again up to the second round? Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to consider some, some, uh, something. I'm not sure what yet. Those discover packs. Those discover packs. Available series. now. I mean, yes, there's, there's certainly some options if I get to uh, pick up those. I feel like maybe some more more removal, maybe. Uh, had a hard time getting you, I mean, we had a very similar deck where we, neither of us had very many three power cards, which uh, made it really rough because I was having a lot of trouble hitting the twos on the spinner. Yeah. But. Yeah, you shouldn't rely on the spinner. But Unless you're Danny. Unless you're Danny. Unless your name is Danny yeah, Margolis. Where's Danny now? Uh, on that note, if you uh, want to cut back to us for a moment, I love you, Danny. Uh, thank you guys for playing. We're, we're gonna we're gonna cut over to our analyst desk for just a second here as we uh, as we get our our champion, Tom Bartlett, just uh, entered just the walked room. In the room. Just walked in the room. Uh, he is uh, he is obviously being challenged by Kevin Cavanaugh. Yep. Rank two uh, slot for this entire tournament. He has defended his slot. I believe he's he's four and zero. Oh? I believe so. 5-0, and oh, perhaps, in defending his slot. slot. He has not been able to challenge level 1 until now, nope. as uh, former champion Danny Margolis had, was tied up in challenges until only very recently. As a brief update, Danny has continued to go down the ladder. As it, it's gone significantly down the ladder. Falling quickly. Falling He's just quickly. spinning in circles, spir spiraling his way out of control. <laughs> Water seeking its own level from Tom Bartlett here. Uh, we are going to take a quick break as we set up this second round. Uh, we'll be back very soon. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, we'll be back soon. We'll be back uh, very shortly. Be right back. Drop our main out.
And we're back uh, so on that quick short break. We uh, got the champion and the challenger, Kevin Cavanaugh, mm. in the studio. We're joined, of course, uh, I'm your host, Troy, from Finance, my co-host, Nick Mudry, and spe going? special guest, uh, Dan Walsh. That's me. That's you, Dan. You look like a football yes, coach. You do look like a <laughs> football coach a little, with the... Jacket's a little snug. Yeah, it looks like your biceps are like bursting out of the scenes. Uh, they are. <laughs> they, oh, are. they are. Any thoughts? <laughs> He's wearing a jacket. Uh, we're any, live here. We're live, yeah. Any thoughts going into this match, Dan, as you've been, been eagerly watching the competitors? Yeah, I, you know, I, the, the first match was really interesting. I'm excited. I believe that three and four as well as Lucky will be allowed in this, in this match. Is that correct? I would I believe, believe so, so. yes. Uh, I don't see any reason why the two of them should, should, should ban them. I, I think I've played both of or one of them at least with uh, mm -hmm. three and four. So. Yeah, no, this should be a good match. I actually I haven't seen much of Tom play live. Uh, he is... He's so this not is going to be a treat, a real delight for me. A real delight for all of us, I believe. He's actually the only other match I think I've seen him play is against mm -hmm. the champion, uh, Danny Margolis, that got him to this uh, to this point right now. He's right. definitely a sleuth in terms of uh, not letting people see him play other games very, in the office. Very secretive player. Very I secretive will player. say uh, I believe Tom to be a confidence player, so I think if Kevin can can knock him off his game a little bit in the beginning, that that could really cause problems for Tom down the road. I think you're absolutely right. Let's, uh, let's cut into the weigh-in here. Uh, don't don't take your cards off because I'm still trying to get you to the way in. Uh, if you could do it on stream, please, that would be great. Uh, Kevin Kavanaugh, the challenger on the right, weighing in his deck. Uh, gentlemen, any any feelings, any thoughts going into this match? Um, Looking to have a good, clean, fun game. Yeah, a lot of clean fun. Yeah. Good, clean, High scoring. Uh, High scoring. High scoring is good. Scoring. Clean fun is hey, is not good television. Just so. like the Super Bowl. Mm. Thirty thirty one eighty. Is that? 30, uh, 30, 30, 30, 79. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, no. Nope. Good, All right. Good, clean fun. Good, clean That's fun that. for the kids. Thank you, Dan. All right. <laughs> Good luck, man. Hey, San Diego. See, we're, we're playing. This is a friendly. This is it this is definitely, friendly. definitely a friendly match. Yeah, this is uh -huh. not like playing against Danny where you're out, I'm out <laughs> for blood. This is... Uh, Kev made this for me. Oh, how sweet. Kind with of. his own hands. Yeah. He designed it. He made yep. it with his own hands. Exactly. Totally I used spent it. hundreds of hours. Yeah, so a lot of time. He's he's a very good, nice guy, and like I hate to have to beat him. Although I didn't do it for no return, I, Tom actually did agree to throw this match for that. So yeah. if he doesn't, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. But you know, <laughs> we'll see. As I jump into Clash here, uh, I was actually st talking with uh, Kevin, who who had some choice words to say about Tom. As a matter of fact, before this match went on. Uh, Definitely insulted not only his deck composition, his his uh, game awareness, but also his general style. Uh, that sounds very true. <laughs> I'm sure that happens. Uh, let's see. Astro versus Socket. Uh, Kevin Kavanaugh deciding to, to change his uh, his icon a little bit as we launch into this match. This is gonna be this is gonna be a big. This is our title match for the day. Best of three rounds. Uh, first, obviously, to 21 points. T-Bar going first. T-Bar going first. Nick, you are so loud. You're on the left. You barely pushed it. There you go. That's probably It's very cool. sensitive. It's <laughs> sure. Riley, how you doing back there? Your microphone's off. Yes. Dan turned it off. Dan did turn it off. God. That's why we can't let Dan be uh, in the commentator's booth. Uh, this is a, a uh, sanctioned broadcast by the DBA. Yep. All imaging and uh, and rights to this broadcast are property of the, the DBA. All tellings of this event. Yeah, and we all, the other ones? we all totally remember what it stands for, too. The Dropmix Broadcasting Association. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Press written consent uh, for use of this broadcast is required. There we go. Upbeat mix Kevin, going on uh, right here. Tom Bartlett on the left. With the Astro logo, Kevin Cavanaugh, the challenger, Socket on the right. I'm excited about this game. I played both of them. You played Tom? Yeah. Interesting. In the original league. Ah, in the original, oh, okay. yeah. Wilden coming in, removing all colored go. cards from the board, leaving a bleached white wash. Oh. And yes, 
This is a Tide commercial. <laughs> Some upset nods from everybody around me. I'm just, I'm speechless. Thank you, uh, Twitch chat, for acknowledging my great reference. I really appreciate it. Nope, and as quickly as it came in, it is gone. It's gone with Tom playing Embrace Chaos. Dropping again all of the uh, colored music cards off of the board. Opening every color bonus open. It is a regular plethora, a regular smorgasbord of color bonuses. Choosing to play the blue and green with Childish Gambino's heartbeat. Nine to five. Kevin still is, it's plenty, it's, it's very early. It's very, very, very early. He's got some big point moves from what I remember too. I think it can change really quickly. Absolutely. He's all about setting up those combos. Uh, from my match with him, it was, we had, uh, we traded blows. We had two very high scoring, very fast matches. Uh, and in that third one, he just, he set up every combo he could and, and, and executed on those. So he's, he's definitely got the cards to do it. These wild cards are just not staying in the mix at That's all. Nor, and the color bonuses just keep opening up. I think we've had more full color bonus boards uh, than I've seen in a very long time. Have we ever gotten this far into the game without any music? <laughs> it's definitely oh. it's definitely a very calm, very quiet mix. Uh, we have sweet. Can't hear. Uh, no, well, that's what the one is for. Just the okay. Can't predict when they're gonna pipe. Nope. It. All right. It obviously wasn't important. So it was six to nine. Oh, there goes the wild card again. I'm waiting for the Lieutenant Hummus fun fact on wild cards for this match. Taking the red and blue color bonuses. Tom Bartlett switching 12 to nine. Giving board, board control over to Kevin. Game control, rather, not board control. Move? Move? Uh, turn order. Kevin's turn, okay? That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> you got there eventually. I got there. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> Lift your voice, allowing Kevin to play an additional vocals card. He's Ooh. opting for Beatboxer into the into the center slot at level three. This is a, might have a couple too many cards with all those, all those sleeves on there. Play the game there, but you know. All right, there you go. Playing that vocals card, Beatboxer, level three into that center slot. It's going to definitely lock that down, unless Tom has some level threes. He's going to have a hard time clearing that spot. Still two color bonuses open. Opposite ends of the board, the yellow and the green both open. Tom takes control. Kevin really close to a full mix. Very close. His T-Bar's turn, though, so I think they'll probably turn the other way. Fourteen, fourteen, tied up. One more action left for uh, T-Bar. Does take the color bonus on the yellow. Yeah, leaving open only two spots. And also, you know, they're only level two, so uh, could be easy for Kevin to take those over. Could be. We could, could see a full mix play here. We could also see the uh, Cow from Finance. <laughs> there is Cow from Finance there in the background poking in, hopefully giving giving Kevin some words of advice, whispering in his ear. Moo, moo. Which of course means moo, move over, Tom Bartlett. It's my turn at the top. Kevin taking the full mix. 17 16. We're always upset with your jokes. All very good jokes going on back here, and I feel like I'm not getting the buy in from my uh, co host. Kevin took that full mix in that last play, putting it at six, 17 to 16. It's still a close. Ah, Tom opting to spin, hopefully trying to clear some points off the board. Anything will hit. Taking that level three off. Tie game. Tie game with that point coming off the board. Tom will take the lead with whatever card he plays here. That's just math. Unless he does nothing. <laughs> yes. 
Akamani clearing out the red cards. Opening that red color bonus up. And leaving it open for Kevin to come in. It's a great way to come back from a full mix. It is, mm -hmm. yeah. They have multiple of uh, multiple reds in there. Uh, there's also the, I believe the heartless one is the, is the blue clear. Heartless one? Is heartless the blue is clear? blue clear, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, another, another opportunity if you are behind and they have multiples of those on the board. Speaking of blue. Speaking of blue and uh, Kevin taking that color bonus. Hollow notes, no can do. It's a very tight game. I don't think I could call There's, it. Sorry, I can't go for that. Parenthetical, no can do. T-Bar kissing the card before he plays it. Did, I th did he kiss it? I thought it looked he, like he did. Did he kiss it or did he smell it? Not, well, I don't know what kissing would do because it's searching within and he could just get whatever he wants right, out of that not, card. Not, not much luck involved with searching within. However, I mean, maybe maybe he knows something we don't. He does work on the game. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> he did make the game, I think. The DBA does not endorse kissing your cards just like we don't endorse licking your Nintendo Switch cartridges. That is very true. Uh, Stylin coming in, allowing him to play in additional keys. This could do it, it and it He's does. It. He's got it. He's got it with Bruno Mars coming in on that blue-green slot, putting him to 22-18. What a match. Wins. Very tight match uh, coming out of that one. It was a very, very yeah, good move. Good. Very good. I had to use a wild on it. Yeah, right. I was like, well, only that red bonus. Red, yeah, yeah, I got it. Well, I, I got it was a good bonus out. red. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was. I got the bonus for it. Wow. Like, yeah, but I have to. Yeah, commentator desk going over top of the game. Uh, yeah. A very tight match all the way through, both of you. Uh, any feelings coming off of that, Kevin? As you, as you have to. I mean, that was honestly eighteen to twenty-two. That's a tough way to lose. Uh, well, the the main thing was running out of uh, of. Um, Effects cards towards the end was a was the big downer there. Just uh like losing steam, not able to push to the last points, just combo up to get to the end of it. Um, that's really just uh what didn't even, didn't even in the end. Sure, and yeah, the second you start starving yourself uh with any of those card with any any card, uh, it, it starts to get become a tough match towards the end. Uh, and Tom, holding on, uh you've got one more match here. If you can hold on to this next next one, you you retain that level one slot. How does it feel being the champion and defending that title? Uh, well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, always, always humble. Very so, humble, Tom Bartlett. Uh, let's jump right into the second match, though. <laughs> Be, Be humble. humble. Uh -huh. Be humble. Kendrick said it. Kendrick did say it. Be humble. Yep. I'll do one more shuffle because I'm OCD. Okay. Being very shuffled. Uh, any any thoughts from the from the from the from the desk here? Uh, it was a very tight match. Very tight. I mean, I think Kevin did did uh, fumble at the end there and uh, probably cost himself the game a little bit. But I thought he had it at some point. That full mix. We all did. Which is just, had it. it's so hard to come back to. But if you, I think Tom had that acrimony. Between mm -hmm. yeah, between the acrimony being able to clear some points off and uh, the searching within being able to uh, kind of. Make his final play. He was able to kind of make that final combo happen. Yeah, but he definitely he didn't get his big his big point moves like he usually does. So I think he's right. I think he was missing some of those FX cards. Yeah, definitely did not have them when, when he needed them. Coming from the chat, we need a wall behind us. We do need a wall behind us. We're gonna well, work on the what? construction. We'll, fix the, well, yeah, we're actually the boxes in the back. We we are in the build out phases of a of a. <laughs> you can see the materials back there. Of a drop it's a real mix. startup feel, you know. It yeah. is. It, it's it, we're we are in the in the building phase of the DBA. Uh, we really don't even have real mugs. This is just paper. Well, they didn't. They, they didn't. No have one, to needs, know, to know no one that. needs to know that. Those look like new mugs. You know they didn't. I didn't notice. No no nobody can actually see what I'm talking about. There. Opening play out of Kevin here taking those. Red and blue color bonuses off the board, leaving only the opposite ends for Tom to try and capitalize on. Shout out to James Landino in the mix. <laughs> uh, 
I, I'm pretty Searching sure. I'm pretty sure Danny Margolis just made a Twitch account. HMX Danny in the chat. Huh. That's that's surprising. Saying something, uh, knowing knowing Danny Margolis, uh, for him to make. Tom Bartlett playing Searching Within early on, allowing him to pick out a card from his deck. Let's see what he... It's uh, taking a little while here. Let's see what really he's on. chosen to do. Kissing, Kissing the card. Kisses that card again. Plays a blue in the center slot. Not what I expected. Not at all what I expected either. I expected him to pull a wild and drop it in that third slot. But, in that Maybe final he, slot, rather. But he knows something we don't. He must know. He did make the game after all. That's why he kissed the card. That is why. You know, I might start kissing my cards as I play out. That might be why I'm losing I mean, he is at the top. That's the only reason. He is at the top for a reason. And maybe Danny needs to start kissing the spinner. Maybe that's the answer. But, you know, it just makes it very unsanitary Preston. for anyone else who wants to. It definitely well, makes you know, it. That's a, that's a good strategy. You, you, you kiss the button, no one else wants to spin. Is it unsanitary for you or for everybody else, though? Because your mouth no. is touching the board. If you get first kiss, your dirty, dirty mouth board. is now on a dirty, dirty board. For the that's record, true. We, we haven't cleaned the board in a while. We do not recommend kissing. We do not endorse kissing. Board board for, if I don't know how we got here. For liability's sake, we do have to say that, yes. The DBA yeah. does not support the kissing of cards or boards. Six of six, tie game. Tie game with that green Doki Doki coming in. Love the art on that vocals card. Oh yeah, no, these mugs totally are clean. Uh, that, yours, your, your mugs are very clean. Mine is uh, still dirty. <laughs> still coated in glitter, actually. <laughs> Gonna do all clear. It is a full clear spinner. What are we doing? We got we just talking about clear. Danny not too long ago. And we were uh, just talking about Danny. Speak of the devil. Oh, speak, he's down here. Just like that, he appears. Uh, Danny, did you create a Twitch account? Did you tr create a Twitch account? A long, long time, time so ago. Had that. Huh. Interesting. Jordan and I both play. just stunned at the fact that Danny we just miss, <laughs> Sorry, we missed a Quiet Wisdom play. As Tom taking five slots in that Quiet Wisdom with the super six point play. Again, we, as we mentioned in the previous match, Quiet Wisdom uh, getting a point for each open slot. See, then it leaves open so many color bonuses. That is true. So it's, it's not, sometimes not so hard to come back from. No, it's it's not. It's not hard. It is it, what it is tough is to pull those points away from the other player, though. But you are correct. Like it's it's easy to catch up, but but tough to uh, to pull that back if they're close to winning. But at this point, it is still early. Eleven to ten. It's still a close match. Only halfway through. I apologize to our uh, studio audience that we don't have enough seats for everybody uh, there's, or anybody. There's a couch right over there. You guys can. Hey, there's a couch with, with like it. The TV is, you can see the TV. You're more than welcome to sit on the couch. Oh. Would you, would you rather that play back here and we sit on the Danny is reproducing the stream right now. Uh, trying to, but doing a poor job of it, seeing his, his, his lack of uh, authority of space, just spatial reasoning uh, is becoming a problem. It's because of the height.
Danny is causing uh, a, a ruckus in the commentator's booth Absolute over here. Absolute ruckus. Uh, he has broken through our soundproof boothing. The DBA does not endorse uh, anything that Danny's doing right now. Honestly, showing just a massive disrespect for the league and the DBA as a whole. Perhaps we will have to put on sanctions. He uh, may get fined. Uh, Kevin spinning spin and getting that three. Nice. Uh, Tom only has twos on the board, so that was a tough spin. A uh, little over a quarter of a chance. The horn's coming out, though. Panic the Disco Horn from Socket is a very good card. Very fun card. Big fan of that one. Bar style, and does he have the keys to uh, go along with this? He does. And the yellow uh, color bonus with uh, Doctor Who. Uh, it is close. 15 to 11 here. Is he? Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay. 17 to 11. Tom taking a healthy lead. Kevin's going to have uh, to make some plays here or, or take some points away if he's going to stay in this. Otherwise, we might see a 2 0 victory from Tom to to retain the leadership at the top of the bracket. It might be a double 2-0 tonight. Looking at the last match, it was a 2-zip. It might be. And Wilden comes out clearing all the colored cards on the board. Uh, 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 you can leave that effects oh, yeah, card on the board. Yeah, you can leave that effects uh, card on that board. That Quiet yeah, Wisdom does not come off the board. Still there, but there uh, you go. That's better. Uh, yeah, Wilden only clearing out the color cards. Not the color slots, but the color cards. See, depending on Kevin's play, we're leaving a lot of color bonuses open. Absolutely. Yep. Silence. Ooh. Ah, allowing to play an extra. Ooh. Oh, a Ooh. Big, big play. Kevin controlling three slots after that play. And holding a massive swing in points, racing through, giving, uh, allowing for the play of an additional yellow card, a vocals card. In this case, he opted to play a wild, taking two points, uh, two color bonuses, the red and the yellow, as well as the point for playing the card. So a three-point play, four-point play with the effects card. This may be the countdown to Kevin's victory. Good one. I try. Take a look here and see if T-Bar putting heavy thought into his next play. Will he kiss his card? Interesting here. If he's got the cards to make it, he might. You know, a six-point play is not out of the question for drop mix, especially at this level. Embrace Chaos coming out, taking two points away. Trying, just trying to separate, the, put some space in between Kevin and Tom. Anderson Pock, Wild coming in, taking the blue and green color bonus. Oh, man. Putting hurts. it at 19-13. That is, that is a tough play to see. Kevin is definitely behind the wheel here. Spin is the only option here as he plays it in. He's going to hit that Mess. three. That's not going to do it. Unfortunately, he's going to need to take some points away from, from Tom somehow. And here it might be seeing the end of Kevin. Oh, no, no, no. He stays oh, alive with it. Wow. Kevin's alive. Pulling the two points off. He's leaving some color bonuses open. Leaving some color bonuses open, but putting Tom deck down to 16. He's going to have to make a five-point play if, if he's going to if he's going to secure this win. Otherwise, Kevin has bought himself at least another round or two. Or another uh, play or two, rather. Searching with him coming, coming out, unfortunately. Bring I think that's going to be... 17. Depending what he could play, he could... Uh, he's oh, he's there just it is. He's playing the same Stony play from last time. Stylin coming in to... <laughs> they already shake on it. They know the end of this match. It's going to be 21-13. It's Kyle Childish Gambino heartbeat. Yes. In my corner now. <laughs> What's that? This is Danny so far down. Oh. Some trash talk going on of, of, of players that aren't even in this competition, but Tom Bartlett secures the win and right, locks in his, uh, his top play. Yes, <laughs> Kevin, unfortunately, uh, you've been waiting this entire time to challenge that number one slot, and unfortunately, you couldn't do it here tonight. Uh, any feel, any emotions, any feelings coming off of you as uh, as you have to walk away from this match? 
Well, you know, uh, really, I know I'll get my outro minute again because once Kevin Locker loses, I'll just get to go again and no one's oh. going to get out of the spot. So, like, it's just a matter of time, you know? That is very, that is very true. And, <laughs> and Kevin, I believe that was actually your first loss, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Actually, I beat uh, two of the commentators uh, last time. Uh, oh, uh, that's, that's for sure. Uh, that I don't deny oh, Sorry, one of them, but, uh, but when, when Dan Walsh is over there commentating. Yeah. Dan Walsh is not an official commentator of the DBA. Yeah, Dan, Dan Walsh, I do have to mention, is not a recognized commentator of the DBA. Uh, and Tom, you are obviously locking in your your top spot. Yeah. I don't uh, think there's any question anymore. <laughs> there's no question of who the who the creator of this game is, that's for sure. I want to give a shout-out to the deck box, too. I think this is really giving me a lot of, that's a lot of good mojo. Personal good touch. Here. Personal touch. Yeah. And, of course, From that Kevin. deck box was built by Kevin. Or at least commissioned by Kevin, if not built yeah, by myself. More, it's more gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've seen some some massively uh, competitive matches today. Uh, with with the commentators, uh, we just have to thank all of you for for tuning in and uh, and being a part of this uh, wonderful tournament. We'll have more updates coming soon about this league and about this tournament. So stay tuned on Twitter uh, yep. and be sure to follow us on Twitch and uh, Facebook, Facebook Live if you want to get notifications when we go live again for the next one. Uh, Nick, thank you again, as always, of course. for being here. And yeah. Riley, always a pleasure having you here. You're so welcome. Thank you so much. And, and, and thank you to all of you, and we'll be back very soon. Yep. What was my sign-off last time? Have a, a pleasant have a pleasant night, all of you. Pleasant everyone, nights. Everyone enjoy, enjoy your... Enjoy drop mix. No, dude, bring me out. Bring me out. Keep on mixing, everybody. This feels worth it. Wow.